Hi, I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks, and today we're making buffalo chicken dip. Chef Frank, buffalo chicken dip? Come on, that's not fancy. Why are you even doing that? Well, I gotta say, it's something that I love, and the first time I had it was a Super Bowl party at my sister-in-law's house. And uh, Liz, who is part of our extended family, brought it. And my wife and I were both blown away. We thought it was absolutely delicious. We love it. We probably make it like twice a year now and uh, usually, usually around Super Bowl time. Uh, and we love it. It's absolutely delicious. This is what I use for my buffalo chicken dip. I have about two-ish pounds of boneless chicken thighs. I like chicken thighs. You can cook chicken thighs forever and they're still tender and juicy. So use thighs. If you want to use breast, you can. It's just going to be a little bit drier. Um, I have about eight ounces of crumpled blue cheese, eight ounces of cream cheese, about a half a cup of uh, mayonnaise, about uh, six to eight ounces of hot sauce. I use Texas Pete. I like Texas Pete. They don't sponsor me, but you can use Frank's. I know I'm going to get a lot of like comments about how I'm not using Frank's hot sauce. I just like Texas Pete. Two cloves of garlic and about uh, four ounces each of sharp cheddar cheese and Monterey Jack that has uh, jalapenos in it. First thing I'm going to do is my chicken thighs. I'm just going to roast them off in the oven. A little bit of vegetable onto the pan. And I'm not too fussy about this. A good way to do this without getting your hands dirty is to kind of get a pair of tongs. Spread them out. Okay, put my tongs in my bowl. I'm gonna hit it with a little more vegetable oil. I love having vegetable oil or oils in squeeze bottles. Uh, and then I'm just gonna do salt and pepper on both sides. Always fresh cracked black pepper. Just so much better. Salt, season really well, right? I don't mind this a little fat on my thighs. I actually like it, because fat, is flavor, especially when it comes to meat, okay? When it comes to meat, fat is flavor, okay? Turn them over, just a little more oil, and then again, salt and pepper. These are gonna go in the oven about 400 until they're cooked through, probably about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, let me put them in the oven. While the chicken's cooking, let's make the base of the dip. So I have a big bowl, I'm gonna mix everything in. Uh, I'm gonna chop my garlic first. I'm just gonna give this a whack uh, and give it a nice chop. You don't have to be too fussy, okay? Put this into my bowl. You don't have to put the garlic. I think the garlic adds a little bit of flavor to this. I'm gonna add some cream cheese. The cream cheese I've set out and let it come to room temperature, okay? Um, blue cheese, dump it all in. At the end of the day, it's really easy to do because it's just basically dump everything in a bowl. The hardest part pretty much is either grating cheese or cooking the chicken. Mayonnaise, right? and then the hot sauce. Actually, you know what, before we do the hot sauce, let's mix it together. Just get it all mashed together. If you have a mixer, you wanna use your mixer with a paddle attachment, that's good. You can use that. But I just make sure I get everything mashed together really well. It helps that the cream cheese is at room temperature. It makes this so much easier. But I just wanna mash everything together really good. And then I'm gonna add my hot sauce. Okay, if you want this spicier, you can add some chili flakes, you can add um, you know, a hotter hot sauce. I'm just using kind of just a regular basic wing sauce. You can just pretty much do whatever you want. I like it kind of medium, it's not super spicy. Um, and it looks kind of weird, it's kind of pink and like looks a little broken, but trust me, it's so delicious. Get it all mixed in really well. Combine it. Break it up if you have to. Good, I think we're almost there. I'm gonna hit it with some salt and pepper. You always have to season. Salt and black pepper. Don't be shy. Okay, so you see it's kind of like 
just kind of together. There's lumps of blue cheese in there and that's what I want. Just gotta wait for the chicken to be done and we'll fold it in. All right, the chicken's done. Um, and I'm not too worried about it being brown or anything like that because it's going into kind of something that is uh, liquidy. So it doesn't have to be brown. It just has to be cooked through. So I have my base here. I got my knife, I got my tongs, and I'm just gonna take the chicken. And you could do this while it's hot. It's not a big deal. It doesn't have to be cold. And I'm gonna chop my chicken and then throw it right into the base. Just chop it all. I like kind of like nice chunks, nothing too huge. You know, you wanna be able to get it onto a piece of bread or a cracker. So I just kind of chop it up. It's gonna cook a little more in the oven uh, after we mix everything. So just as long as it's cooked through, it doesn't need to be super well done, just cook through. Okay, chop it up, throw it in. Good. Okay, now that it's chopped, let's put it all in there. And I think I'll do this this way, so it's a little easier. Move my board over and then sweep it in. Get it in there. Oh yeah. Nice. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna do with this too is, if there's any juice on here, if there's maybe a little bit of fat or a little bit of juice or any sort of brown bits, and I'll try and get that in there too because that's some nice flavor. Okay, let me get rid of this cutting board and we'll finish mixing it up. So chicken's in, juices are in there. Take this, give it a really nice mix. Get it mixed really well. Look at that. I like to put a fair amount of chicken in there. I think that there, this is kind of like, not really a substitute for a meal, but I want it to be nice and hearty. Okay, get it mixed in really well. I'm gonna hit it with just a little more salt. Okay, and let me grab a dish that we're gonna bake this in, and we'll throw it in the oven. Now that I have the chicken dip mixed, I'm gonna put it into a dish and we're gonna cover it with cheese and bake it. But I wanna talk about dishes really quick. I usually use like a pie plate, a nice Pyrex pie plate, then go in the oven, and then I'll uh, serve this if I have a, a fairly large crowd. Um, and if I have uh, just a smaller crowd, right, I'll put it in smaller dishes, right, and I'll heat it in a couple of batches, right? So I'm not putting a big plate out. I'll take a plate, heat it through, when that's done, I'll go get another plate and heat it. Uh, I always like to put out smaller dishes of things rather than one big dish. Um, this way it stays hotter longer um, and it doesn't get all like, like seized up. Because once this gets cold, it kind of comes together. The other thing I want to talk about is that if you're doing this uh, a day ahead, it works really well. Put everything, get to this point, put everything into your serving dishes or your baking dishes. Just don't put the cheese on top and then throw it in the oven with the cheese on top, you know, an hour before you want to serve it, okay? So let's go into my serving dish, okay? I have a spatula to get everything in there. Now this will serve a fair amount of people, okay? This is probably about eight to 10 people, and you know, back when I was doing bigger parties, this would be a nice amount for a fairly large party if you don't, have that many people, you can always cut this in half. Okay, spread it out. Good. Top with our cheese. It's a lot of cheese, okay? One thing you gotta remember about this dish, this is like a special occasion thing. It's not an everyday thing. I think if it's an everyday thing, you're gonna need to see a cardiologist. Okay, so I have both of my cheeses on there. And then I put this in the oven until the, the center is nice and hot and melty and the top kind of gets a little caramelized. So let me go throw it in the oven. We'll come back when it's ready. All right, it's out of the oven uh, and it's nice and melty on top. It started to bubble on the sides. Uh, we're gonna give this a taste. Before that, let's talk about what I have here. I have some carrot sticks, some celery sticks, uh, some saltine crackers, but you can pretty much serve it with whatever you want, like tortilla chips, bread. It's totally up to you. If you wanna be a little on the healthier side, because this is so rich and indulgent, you can use the sticks, 
I'm gonna use a cracker. Let's give it a taste. Break through that beautiful crust of cheese. Oh my Lord, look at that. I'm gonna get a little of the topping or the, the dip. Put a piece of that chunky cheese on top. It's hot, it's kind of bubbling hot. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> it's gonna hurt if I take it right now. Mmm. Mm. I'm gonna finish this bite because it's delicious. Mm. What this has is everything that's good about chicken wings without the mess, basically, okay? Absolutely delicious, you gotta try it. And that's buffalo chicken dip, one of my guilty pleasures. Comment down below some of your guilty pleasures. I love reading your comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Hit the little bell uh, to be notified when we have a new video. Check out our link down below for merch, Need Salt t-shirts, I Control the Salt. Uh, we have an address down below if you wanna contact us that way. I wanna thank our sponsors on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for helping us out. And that's it, Buffalo Chicken Dip. I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks. Have a great one.